Hello, I want to explain you in this video how to configure and handle in a CAN network with a Bachmann controller, uh, two Bachmann controller uh, as a master and a slave. And uh, we are starting now with uh, two Bachmann controller and uh, in this case, I have a Bachmann controller uh, as a master. I take this MC210 with a CM. It's a hardware model with uh, two uh, CAN interfaces on it. And the second one uh, for the slave is a CAN. Uh, uh, a can inter uh, has a CAN interface on the uh, MX controller directly, and this is uh, this CAN controller, and the second one on the uh, master is connected with a cable, uh, and we use it for this uh, demonstration. For the first time. We starting with a network configuration on the slave. Um, with a right click on this network, I create a new CAN network and with that, uh, find the network uh, interface on the MX and we choose it and say next and uh, Configure this uh, to 125 uh, baud rate, a kilo baud, uh, a kilo bit per second, and say finish. And we don't reboot in this uh, case now. Uh, this wizard has been configured in master network, and uh, this is a slave. Uh, in this case, we uh, Delete this master configuration here. And say delete. And also on this hardware, we are uh, we are changing this configuration uh, from network mode master to slave. Save it. Don't reboot. Um, then, with a right click, we starting uh, to uh, include a new device, and from the catalog, we choose um, MX two uh, MX two XX. Uh, this is an MX controller in this case, and uh, pressing next. And then say we want to use it as a node ID one. You can change this to whatever you want between uh, one and 127. Um, then we go to next, next, and finish. Now we have a. Uh, uh, an MX a slave module, and we must be bring in uh, some PDUs. In the PDU connection, PDO connection, we can make a right click on it and say create PDO uh, and make a receive PDO in the first uh, the first step, and we get it here and say uh, then. Choose this uh, PDO, receive PDO, make a right, right click and say add variable. When you uh, add a variable, you choose uh, uh, type whatever you want. In this video, we take an uh, integer 16 for this read write uh, integer and give. Uh, this um, integer name. Uh, I choose the uh, C for can, IO for IO, underline, 
rwrw for read write and uh, say channel one put it in and the next one i make it on the same way and in channel 16 with the name cio R W and C channel two. Then I create another PDU, right click on the yellow area here and say uh, transmit PDU and add another var variable from the same type, like a uh, integer 16 with the name CIO. Uh, R for read, readable uh, channel 3. And another one with the same type and CIO underline R underline C04 for channel 4, for example. And now we must deactivate this with a right click on the PDO. We activate this PDO and with a right click, we activate the second one also. Then, I hope so, we have nothing forgot. And we save this configuration and then we can reboot now. On the other side, we go to the um, master and say in this network folder, a right click new GAN network. And we say we can choose uh, two uh, CAN interfaces, but uh, on this port one, I have connected to my can slave uh, then i choose this and say next and important is that this is the same baud rate uh, as on the slave uh, we say finish and if you want to reboot now we say okay reboot now then we're waiting that the controller coming back and uh, Then we can open this CAN network here and see this is my master configuration with the ID 64. And I can scan now this uh, field bus uh, with a right click on the net and scan bus and say I scan uh, every device what I want to find on this uh, network. Uh, in our case, we have. Uh, not too much uh, CAN devices here. I scan uh, from 1 to 4 and say next and he searching for devices and find each uh, device on this network. I choose this uh, MX200 uh, controller uh, CAN device and he takes this EDS file uh, from the catalog, electrical data sheet side, with the name MX2XX from the catalog, and say finish. So then we take, make a double click on this uh, uh, slave here with a node ID 1, going to the parameters and say uh, node ID is 1, it's okay, and uh, what I recommended is, is uh, to switch on the optional mode when we're making some uh, wrong configuration uh, he he goes automatically in uh, booting up uh, with some errors but uh, uh, going not in the soft boot error and you can handle this uh, very easy um, then we save it we don't reboot it and going further to the PDO con uh, connection here and make it on the same way 
uh, as on the slave. With a right click, we create a video uh, receive video and say, OK, I bring in another variable with a right click and say, uh, I choose the integer 16. This must be the same uh, on, on the uh, must be the same like uh, on the slave. The name must be not the same, but uh, I recommend it that you have the same variable name on both sides. Um, CIO RW uh, C channel one and next one is also in uh, integer 16 with the name CIO uh, RW channel 2 and then we going further with a uh, PDO uh, transmit transmit PDO and make it uh, uh, and add a new variable uh, integer 16 with the name CIO R for readable and C channel 03 and another one the same type CIO underline R C04 okay I hope so. This is an integer, integer 16, integer 16, integer 16. And now I must be activated. And uh, we need now this mapping to our master. And this is very easy. We click on, uh, on this uh, receive PDO, for example, right click and mirror PDO. Then you can make some uh, give some prefixes and suffixes it on uh, in it, but uh, in the moment he makes a n for the node and the ID number, uh, putting uh, in the front of the uh, of the name, and he makes for you giving this name and uh, create all these uh, necessary things, and the same we make it on the other side. Uh, to the tr transmit PDO and say, okay, we make it, and now we can save it. And when we have nothing forgot, we can reboot now and see what happens. Take coffee. And when he is coming up, then we can see that we have uh, now this uh, layout here, and we see that our MX is an, an operation mode, and we see also our slave uh, is also in the operation mode. When we are switching, uh, stopping this uh, from the master side, uh, then it's going this uh, slave in pre-operational mode and we see it just makes the same as this side. This is meaning that we have uh, all configured this in the right way. Now we're starting. Uh, once more this uh, uh, MX um, controller and we have it be going in operational mode. It's all correct. So. Now we can see in our variable view. This is the variable view, and we can see in our can on the master, we have these values channel one, two, three, four. And also on the other side from the can slave, we have also uh, channel one, two, three, four. And uh, we can bring in on this channel one, for example, sorry, uh, 
this is only readable, uh, on, on the uh, channel 3, writable, uh, the 23, for example. Then it's coming up you know, on the other side immediately and also uh, when you bring in a different value here. On the other side we can also uh, give in uh, for the channel 2 for example uh, um, a number like 137 right down and you see it here. On the slave you can uh, get this uh, values uh, over the um, SVI interface and map it to the MIO hardware. This is uh, uh, done in the program for example. And on the other side you can also uh, have um, these channels directly in the MIO system. We have switching on this UFB uh, module thing. This can be found here in this uh, network configuration. Sorry. Uh, is generate UFB models. This is meaning that you have all these uh, variables you have uh, configured here automatically in the hardware. Uh, configuration and then you can read out the hardware configuration on the master side and get all the values directly in your program. Um, I hope this is, uh, helps you uh, for the configuration and this, uh, this is also some information, useful information for you in this video and uh, Play around with this and have a lot of fun with this configuration and this video. Bye.